Hey guys, welcome back. Andrew here with Ambient Endeavors. And today we're doing a video kind of just for fun, for posterity, for um, a special interest item of mine and one that comes up a number of times when the topic of uh, favorite delay pedals or delay sounds emerges. And so we're gonna check out the Strymon Brigadier. And this might be sort of an ironic or strange timing being that Strymon just released their Brig. Um, but this is kind of the OG. This has been my go-to delay uh, for years and years and years, almost since it came out. Um, it's occupied the bottom left corner of so many boards that I've made over the years. And it just is the delay sound I have in my head. And so that's why it stuck around. So we're just gonna dive into this pedal and talk about some of the reasons why I love this pedal so much, why I think it's one of the more underrated Strymon pedals, some of the cool features that it has to offer, some of the quirky aspects of it that you have to kind of work around, and then here a bunch of sound samples with me just kind of playing it and leaning into some of the sounds and settings that I really enjoy from it. Now, I'll preface this by saying I haven't played the new Brig. Um, I haven't got that through the studio. It'd be fun to check it out sometime and kind of do some compare and contrast. So this isn't going to be any sort of like um, compare contrast or this versus that video. Um, but more so just a fun video for me to kind of talk about um, why in the world I love this kind of obscure Strymon Delay Pedal so much. So here we go. This is the... This is the one. Um, I switched knobs on it just for kicks. I actually modded this one to receive uh, external tap tempo at some point. When I was running multi-delay um, boards, uh, you can sync tempo with a cable if you've got another pedal that receives tap tempo. And yeah, it's just, it's lived on my board for years and years. It's probably been seven or eight years that I've used this pedal as my main delay pedal. I picked up another one a year or so ago um, when I saw the V2s come out of the, the Strymon line here and I didn't see this one. I was kind of worried that this would be uh, discontinued. And um, so yeah, I've got a couple for different boards or for backups or whatever. But I think the main reason why I love this delay so much is that I'm a big fan of analog delays, but sometimes when you're playing true analog, like bucket brigade chip delays, they just get a little bit too sloshy or too gritty or um, obscure your notes or playing in a way that's just a little bit too abrasive for me. There's some really great examples of um, analog delays that are really well refined and sort of get close to the sound in my head. I'm really excited about the new uh, Boss DM101 that I'll feature some more on this channel. I think that has a, a ton of promise and there's some other ones out there too, but the, the nature of this being a digital recreation of an analog bucket brigade delay really allows you to kind of do things um, to refine the EQ and the feel of the delay that you don't really get by just manipulating an actual bucket brigade chip or chipset. So I love that. I love that you can get brighter repeats. I love um, the way that the modulation and sort of bright analog repeats can flutter and can kind of shine in different ways. Um, I also love that they have the bucket loss control and a, a hidden filter control on this so you can go really bright and have that bright clear analog delay sound or you can dial the bucket loss up, dial the filter down and get that like darker, grittier, murkier noisier sound. So you really have the gamut of those sounds in this pedal. I tend to lean towards the clearer, cleaner um, settings just because uh, I tend to play cleaner and I tend to just like that more pristine sound. It just lives in that really nice in between of clear, clean, sparkly, and sort of shimmery, um, but not so dark or murky that it gets lost or kind of muddies up your playing or your signal chain. The other thing that has really become a necessity and a, a main feature for this delay is the ability to hold the tap switch and get that runaway oscillation. You heard that a little bit in the intro sketch, um, but I actually use that a ton live for transitions from verse to chorus, for moments where you really uh, wanna add to the crescendo of a, a piece or a song. It's just great. and. A lot of analog delay pedals um, adopt that, or a lot of delay pedals in general will have that feature. Um, but that is one of my critiques and sort of a bummer about the new Brig is that you don't have that feature. You don't have that ability to um, remotely kind of 
trigger that oscillation. So that's missing for me and that's kind of a reason why this specific pedal um, with that feature has stayed on my board. I use that a ton live. One of the other favorite aspects of this pedal is the way that you can get really beautiful modulation across the spectrum of chorus and vibrato. Now old memory mans sort of have that uh, as unique settings where you can have a chorus repeat or a vibrato repeat, either a slower sway and shimmery kind of um, chorus tone or that fast fluttery vibrato thing. On the left sweep of the mod control you get chorus that goes from pretty subtle to kind of like seasick warbly up to the center and then at noon and beyond you get that more fluttery fast vibrato kind of thing. So for me, I've just found a couple settings that really work well. I tend to live in kind of like a nine o'clock, like a lower, more subtle chorus sway on my repeats for my normal um, delay sound. And then if I want to do a more affected or for different contexts, a, a delay with that fast fluttery vibrato, you can find that sweet spot. I usually like it just past noon to kind of get into that territory of a quicker flutter without getting too uh, too aggressive. So I love how the modulation is voiced on here. I love that you get both of those kind of characteristics of modulation that you can find um, with the sweep of the knob there. Yeah, I think the, the last thing I'll say about the Brigadier and, and why I have come to love it is kind of because it's not that glamorous. Um, a weird thing to say, especially in this day and age of pedals that continue to evolve in terms of features, compatibility with MIDI and other things like that. But for my playing style, for my use cases and scenarios and settings I, I use this in, it's exactly what I need and nothing more, nothing less. I don't honestly do a lot with MIDI. Um, this doesn't have it. So if you are a big MIDI player, you might be excited about the brig and, and all the possibilities with that. But for me, it's just everything is right there. Most everything is right on the face of the pedal with the exception of that filter control. And it's so tactile and so easy to on the fly make adjustments um, to find those fine tuned sweet spots and uh, just roll with it. You've got tap tempo, you've got that oscillation, like I said. Uh, you can even engage a preset uh, with the favorite switch if you do that, but everything is just there. Uh, there's no menus, there's no added fluff, and so for me, it's, uh, it's perfect, it's ideal. There is one quirk uh, that can be kind of annoying and I have to kind of work around it. When you change tempo with the tap switch, it does do that sort of pitch shifty analog delay thing. So if you're playing live and you're trying to switch tempos on the fly, it can be pretty annoying. Uh, I've had to just kind of adapt my playing or my um, control changes uh, live in a way that kind of works around that, where I'll wait till the repeats die out and then change the tempo, which is kind of annoying if you're in certain situations. But um, that is one of the quirks of this pedal that I believe they refined for the Brig, um, which is cool that you can kind of get around that and not have the interruption in your signal with uh, tempo change. So anyway, that's the Brigadier. That's some of the reasons why I just love this pedal. I think it's underrated. I think it just sounds amazing and you get a huge range of analog style delay sounds from dark and murky to those bright kind of warm sheened uh, delay repeats with some cool features and great modulation and great character. It's stereo, um, in and out, and you can use expression or favorite uh, preset switches too with it. So check it out. You'll find it on Reverb or wherever you can track one down used um, or go check out the new Brig um, and let me know what you think about each of them as you kind of do your research. We're going to jump into some sound samples just so you can hear a bunch of different contexts for how I like to play this pedal. Some of my favorite settings with different modulation settings and bucket loss settings and that and just enjoy hearing a pedal that maybe has kind of flown under your radar for some time. Check it out.